Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Oops, that's not the right screen. Let's go over to that one real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually, um, I had a mechanical keyboard over here, but I don't know if all of you've heard or not. Um, I don't make noise anymore since I bought a cheap keyboard. Uh, it's funny. For production with audio quality, cheap keyboards are better. It's the really shitty plastic ones. I like it. But it feels weird whenever I type, so I don't like typing with it. Anyways, everybody. Okay. So, you've all gathered your things together. Nobu has a new bell attached to his collar, and you are all going to be leaving... Now, you enter out into the courtyard where you see the wagon. Let's call it a wagon. Or no, wagons are more expensive. This is a cart. The cart positioned here. The two goats have already been brought over towards the back of it, and they are given their own tiny little wagon to be attached to as well in the back of it just for them nobody else it is their comfy space so i assume ulrich is going to be forced to lead at the top of the wagon since he's the only one who knows what he's doing <laughs> or cart uh, rain will probably i'm, I'm gonna say that rain will, will want to learn how to do all of this so she's gonna be You're expecting him to teach you? Learn by seeing. Yeah, kind of like watching. Okay, to... all right. Roll me an insight check. Yeah, I want to like observe too. Yeah. Roll me an insight check. He's just got two people watching everything he does. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, he is the oldest person here right now, once you leave Prida. Everyone else is very young. Sebastian's technically a child in elf years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you all start heading out, venturing forth, heading northwards. Sebastian does look over at you, Rain, as like, you're trying to pay attention, but then you just start daydreaming. Because that's happier. That's happier. Or more like just it's sunny and I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Sebastian, though, you're taking very careful notice about everything he does. Um, this may assist you in the future if you ever find somebody to properly train you how to do this. Please write that down somewhere in your character sheet. All right. I'm trying to observe like, well, I know how boats work. But this is this is different. Yeah. Boats move with waves. This moves with wheels. Yeah. Completely it's different. It's definitely more uh, responsive. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 definitely. It and the, and this, this thing called brakes? That, that is wild. It blows my mind. <laughs> it's like an anchor, but it doesn't take 10 seconds. Anyways, during this time, uh, it is expected that Palando and Sebastian try navigating. He's just simply leading. So which one of you two are going to be taking the lead on navigating? Sebastian, you got this. All right. <laughs> Palando's a very, he's a drifter. It doesn't are, really are matter you, what direction we're going. So you're, you're reading... That's, are you helping me or am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, it's north. We're heading north. We're going What's right that away. say? Do host. <laughs> Do host beach. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dwarvish. If nobody else is. Yeah. Mo uh, Moose is going to try and assist you. Like, wait. No, that's over that way. I think that's Palando who's assisting him. Since he speaks the language that it's written in. No, no, no. Just like, right. oh, yes, I've been here before. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice! No no use rolling again. Uh, 
as you are traveling, you start heading northwards, and you're like, so what does this mean? Uh, Palanda looks at it and goes, oh, that means danger. Um, and you go, okay, we're not going there. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, bandit camp. Okay, we're not going there. Um, <laughs> and he start, you start asking like everything that is labeled outwards, and he's expressing it to you very clearly, concisely. We're just zigzagging towards these obstacles and then bouncing away from them. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, your first day of travel is going very, very well, actually. Um, I do need to roll a d100, though. Just because when in Rome, you know? Okay. As you're all traveling out, up ahead in the distance, you see the horizon is slowly descending upon this land. It's starting to become nightfall, and you've been contemplating where you would like to sleep. So, you see, there's an inn, not terribly far away. Beautiful, it seems energetic. You smell stale alcohol, so you know it's frequently used. Do you guys like to stop there? Is it on the map? Uh, yes, it is. Um, and it is written as one second. I need my Dwarvish to common. Translator. It is F Saga I Cheek, which translates to the tongue and cheek in. Well, I guess they we can get there. They might have a room for the night. And we can save on supplies for when we really need them. have nine of us so four rooms yeah sure are you all gonna be good to push through the darkness or do we need to light some torches I'm good to push through the night is it far we can see it over the horizon, right? You see the inn. Okay. You do not see the bridge burners. You've all made good time thanks to Sebastian. You probably traveled a good 12 hours or 12 miles, uh, but there's still another 10 miles to go, which means at best you would get there mid-afternoon tomorrow. Yeah, it seems like a good place to, yeah, we'll to stop. Stay. It seems the, the usual halfway point for, for travelers. Hopefully they have a vacancy. A lot of vacancy. Turns out it's run by it's run by gnomes and they have a literal neon sign that says no vacancy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get uh, let's, let's get in the get rooms. Uh, Sebastian, do you want to be the one doing that? Yeah, I can try to talk to them. Perfect. Um... So you all go inside? Mm -hmm. 
The relaxed atmosphere of this environment begins trickling in easily. You start hearing boisterous music as you begin approaching. You notice there's a handful of drunkards outside. They seem to be relaxing beautifully or discreetly talking to one another as you all approach someone sitting on the front balcony of this porch uh, leans over the edge and looks down at all of you and goes hey this large dwarven man with a thick black beard on the outside and a gray streak that just stretches down to a peak almost like it's designed like that you're all from good uh, evening in yeah. dwarvish We'll reply to you in Dorvish. Good evening. How you doing? Eh, not bad. Ooh. Been traveling all day. Oh, you must be tired, eh? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Well, I'll, we'll be able to get you set up. Uh, just head on inside. Hey, Malky. He throws a uh, a wooden goblet downstairs, and it smashes into one of the drunk's heads, who then looks up and goes, what the hell was that for? Take their horses, staple them up, all right? Ah, shit, we got visitors. All right, all right. Hey, how you guys doing? A uh, taller, lankier-looking dwarf, um, possibly a half-dwarf, half-human, approaches over towards you and goes, All right, all right. Apparently, I'm going to be stabling yet up. Uh, you got your own feed for it? Yeah. Yes. All right, perfect. Uh, any special accommodations for them? And starts unlatching and taking and tending to them easily. Uh, well, yeah, in addition to the horses, we also have a, a couple goats. We need them taken care of. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Goats, you farmers? Sort of. Good milk. Mm, I have to agree with you there. And especially if you make some cheese with it. Oh, goat cheese is so good. Ah. Most it, I, I, I've heard, but the, the milk usually doesn't last. We drink it all up. So. Moose, you pop out and he goes... Uh, hey, it's another one of you uh, mouse folk, right? Hey, how you doing? Hi. All right, well, I'll take all these over here. As long as you, you don't... More of the mouse folk? Uh, yeah, we've seen a few of them in there. Are, are there any here now? Uh, I don't really know. I've been sitting out here drinking all night. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all let right. me let me tend to all of this. Uh, they'll get you set up with a... Uh, Bill on the inside, no problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Is this Malky or the first dwarf? Uh, this is Malky. All right. Malky is lanky. That's how you'll know. So he wanders and leads your horses. Huh? He's just going to say thank you, Malky. Hey, you're welcome. And... Handles your horses and goats and brings them over yonder. Nobu, this is your first time at a cheap establishment. <laughs> You're muted, I gonna, too. I was going to say, the first time at a, what they call a bar. It's very rustic. Is there any music playing? Yes, there is. Ooh, what kind? Uh... Folky, expressive music right now. No pranks. What, what, I would ever, and it was Gary last time. No, but clearly she was talking to Gary. Yeah. You just keep Gary in line. You heard are, Gary. Are dwarves more appreciative of pranks? Most, yeah. They So in dwarven culture, uh, Polando... You've integrated yourself with dwarves before, like actually hung out with a few of them. In yeah, the inland mountain dwarves that come down from up here. Oh, mountain dwarves. These are inland dwarves. Uh, then I don't have much knowledge okay. of what they're like. So, yes, they're similar to hill dwarves, but they're the dwarves that live on the surface and interact more freely within society. Uh, roll me a history check, Polando. And again, let me iterate to everybody, throw all knowledge of what you have about these races out the window, unless I've confirmed it in the world already. Um, inland dwarves are actually some of the most 
kind dwarves you'll come across. Um, they're big into commerce. They're big into interaction and wholesome attitude, but they're definitely into tough love as well. Uh, they're the type of people that if you prank them, the one will get pissed off, but everyone else will make fun of them and they just like brush it off being like, I'll get you next time type of people. Oh, well, actually, Rain, the dwarves are very fun loving. They probably appreciate it. But I get it. You know, we kind of want to keep our heads down and not cause too much problems. Right. And not only that, but if, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Um, from, an inch from the what? <laughs> well, we'll talk. From the satchel that you hear, you invoke the Sasto. Um. And during our journeys, we don't want to give uh, the mouse folk bad name. You know, they always show up and start bar fights and such. Yeah, that's true. All right. Okay, um, let's let's get our rooms. All right. As your horses and goats are being propped up, you do see uh, there's a couple inside of the barn that are in a close embrace with each other. Nobu, you, you don't really see inside of the bar or inside of the bar and you just, you hear, roll me a perception check at disadvantage. <laughs> Cause you're the only one that this actually matters for. <laughs> Oh, they've got a lot of horses. They got a lot of horses. Yeah. Good. I'm glad we don't have to explain what's going on. <laughs> Malachi, you should hold your horses. <laughs> no, he's just going to play with Gary. All right. A lot of horses. Ah, yeah, maybe. Um, but anyways, all of your animals are being tended to. You walk up the tall little wrap around front porch of the establishment where you do see a handful of humans, elves, dwarves standing around looking back at you all. And, you know, most of them seem to just be observing the people coming through here. Now, as you enter into the establishment, the two front doors are open wide already. So you can see inside clearly this place is jam packed. There's roughly about 20, 30 individuals in here right now. The bartender seems to be gathering as much assistance as he can from the three waitresses and two waiters that he has currently, but they're definitely falling behind. Oh, sorry. Which establishment I say this one is? The tongue in cheek. Tongue in cheek. Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. The owner of the proprietor, the proprietor of this business is actually a woman. Okay. Yeah. A strong red-haired woman is running this establishment with all of her waiters and waitresses flowing around, handing out drinks, gathering new ones. As you're kind of standing here, you do see a halfling th get thrown over the crowd. Hmm. It's a good energetic place. Looks like fun. Does the staff look like they're overwhelmed? Um, Not like they're overwhelmed, but like they're in a hurry. They're definitely okay. used to this type of business and clientele, but... They are. They don't have time to just stop and talk on the willy nilly. Is it so. mostly dwarves? Uh, no. It's actually a okay. menagerie of individuals. There's quite a few dwarves, elves, halflings. Uh, you see one or two drow in here as well. Uh, a lizard folk sitting over at a table talking to a tabaxi. It's just a lively place. Any open tables? Roll me a perception check. Uh, you sprint over to a table that you see someone else waddling over to. Immediately, like, sit in the one chair, pull the other two in, grab the others with your feet, drag them inwards, and go, mine. The individual just, eh, whatever. Just, like, leaves you alone. I'll stand up on my chair and just, I got a table over here. All, All of right. you. Yeah. That a boy. I really like this guy. And I'm going to start walking over there with Gary. 
Yep. Uh, Ulrich goes over to you, Raina, and goes, uh, um, you have all the gold, so yeah. do you want to handle the rooms and such? Yeah, um, I was hoping maybe, uh, Sebastian could, because he's a good, um, talker oh. like that. But However you want to do it, I don't really have the money to pay for everybody. Yeah, I got, I got everyone, don't worry about it. Um, and drinks, don't they're on me too, so don't worry about it. Uh, Ulrich doesn't drink. Um, where's Dorena and... And Keys is too young. Um, uh, Keys is already sitting at a table, uh, committing to an arm wrestling match with a fairly sizable half-orc. <laughs> That's Keys. Dorena. She appears right behind you. Yeah. Um... We'll get dinner, everything, um, rooms, everything on me. Um, okay, I'll unpack the cart for everybody. Okay, are you sure? You don't need help, or? I I'll have Ulrich help me. We'll be fine. You guys sit down, relax a little bit. You, you aren't my servants. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep doing what you're doing. We'll be back. All right. She calls out, hey, keys. He looks over. You should try really, probably aim for someone a bit smaller than you. And he has the most offended look on his eyes. Because he can't show it on his face. He's a bird. Um. <laughs> the mouth is slightly more agape. <laughs> but anyways. Sebastian, Reyna, you have to go over to the barkeep. Uh, dinner for eight. Um... Drinks for seven. Well, no. Yeah, drinks for seven. And uh, four rooms, if you've got them. You hear from over at the back banister. Uh, they also uh, seem to have forgotten about their horses and goats. You see the same old dwarven gentleman. Yes, of course. Um, I'm sorry. Usually, um, Mida combines the fees. I... I apologize. Oh, it's no problem, dearie. I'll take care of you, no problem. This woman appears to be probably dwarvish in her lineage somewhere. Strong, vibrantly red hair. Uh, closer to the shade of orange than Polando. Um, fairly tall, maybe five foot four. Of course, for a dwarven heritage woman. Um, she smiles and starts taking down the order for everything. All right, so you said a total of eight people are going to be staying here today? Yes. All right, so do you need eight beds, or are people comfortable cuddling up a little bit? We're all close friends. We can we can make do with what you have available. Nobu investigation. Continue. Um, and uh, we have some smaller folks, too. So we've got a king coup, you know, so... Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so long as they don't expect beds themselves, they don't, right? We can give them, uh, you know, small cuts. Sure. All right. Fine. So by the calculations I have here, you're looking at about three rooms in total to accommodate you and your little group of friends. Uh, this is going to run you a round of drinks, dinner, breakfast in the morning. Yes. All right. Uh, this is going to run you about seven gold. All right. Uh, you hear a, uh, or sorry, which one of you two has the higher perception? Sebastian. Passive? Yeah. Sebastian, since Rain has been doing most of the talking, roll a perception check. Not good. Noted. Uh, she kind of cocks her head. I, I, I apologize. Um, I, I meant to say ten gold. I forgot about our new tax. Sorry. Tax. Hey, yeah, we have a new tax. Huh. Yeah. Well, this is our first time coming through here. It's uh. An interesting establishment. Has it been here long? 
Oh yeah, we've been here for roughly uh, t t 23 years or so. Oh, yeah. I get the impression that uh, you're in charge. What was your name? Oh, my name's Lynn. Yes, I am. I am the owner of this establishment. Oh, pleasure. You as well, you as well. So, hey, that'll be 10 and I get you your room keys. Uh, for the 10, how many drinks are included? Our basic ales, uh, one for all seven of the individuals that you discussed previously. Well, I was hoping for, for 10 gold we could get a few rounds. We, we are not terribly... Uh... Roll Persuasion. The DC well... on this is going to be 16. <laughs> Do I have advantage? Unfortunately not. All right. Oh, did not roll very well. Got a uh, 10. I'm sorry, but with the new tax right. and overhead, I I mean, I might be able to swing one morning ale for one of you, but that's about the best I can give. Well, it's worth Moses, asking. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Moose is going to pop out. Who's taxing you? She looks down. Oh, look at you. You're another one of those uh, mouse folk, right? The mm -hmm. rough paws, right? Ah, oh, you're so adorable. Um... He Are more of you... pause. Squishy beans. Squishy beans. Actually, no. Mice mortified. have fingers. Well, yeah. But yeah. they have pads on them. Yeah. But not quite beans, you know. Well, they're not... Well, if a cat didn't have fur... True. Uh, well, we, we've just been... Uh... <clears throat> Recently, the governor moved into the area, and they're setting up a new establishment, and uh, we're terramorphing some of the landscape, going to be building a town here, but taxation has started early to be able to accommodate all of the people moving in. I'm going to look at Rain. Governor? Yeah, I governor. Still... I thought this was still in Terra. Well, yeah, it is. Each city is ran by a different representative of Terra. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mida is just the capital, so you have the most authority. Yeah, and apparently it's a new thing we're going to be doing. We're setting up right uh, by. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. Maybe we stop getting some of the more disgruntled looking folk and start getting some reputable individuals in the establishment, you know? But, you know, that comes with the territory. We uh, There's a... Uh, a 40% tax on all of our business, so... A 40% tax? Uh, yeah. Who's, who's the governor? Um, well, he's, uh... She points over at a side table. And if all of you are looking at NPC picks, I am dropping his image in there now. <laughs> no, I am not. Sorry. Not yet. And with my stellar perception, I don't understand why everyone is not believing what she's telling us. <laughs> you see a uh, older looking dwarvish individual with bright red hair and white out eyebrows and many different jewelries, rings against his shirt, his hands, uh, sitting there, starting to uh, lay down some cards at the table. He's playing against a uh, younger looking um, individual, they have a wide brim hat. Their back is currently to you, so you don't really see them. Forty percent is outrageous. Well, that's what we were told by him, and yeah, you know, we don't really have a place to talk to them. I do. Oh, we don't want no trouble around here. I mean, we appreciate the offer and the help. I, I, I'm sure I can throw you a couple more drinks in the morning than that, but uh, we, we, we really don't want any trouble. Well, maybe we could make Raynal, do with just uh, two rooms. Raynal Messenger. Uh, you have message? Yeah, I multi -class. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck, fighter? <laughs> um, is everything okay? With this governor, I 
what the hell why why is this hap what, what's happening why why is, is she saying this out loud what's going on in my head i don't understand this this is kind of weird uh, oh i've never experienced something can you hear my thoughts yes yeah, so all you have to do is take your answer she looks terrified when you say yes no 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 don't read my mind don't read my mind please i don't it's only if you choose to answer <laughs> And then I'll try messaging again. <laughs> I just... Oh no, everything's fine. We're just accommodating. We don't want no more trouble. He's already uh, he's already banned a few people from the town. And honestly, he and his men are uh, pretty reputable. I We just... We, we just try to get along as best we can. Right. Um, and then she'll... Another message... Um... If she gives you any trouble, I am Raina Dyer, and all you have to do is say me something, and I will take it straight to the con. As you're kind of uh, having this conversation mentally, uh, you see the person whose back was to all of you begin twisting around, walks over to the counter. Listen here, Lynn. There's no reason to not be hospitable to a dayer after all why don't you throw them a few more rounds and put it on my tab please uh, of course governor no problem the individual looks at you a uh, half elven man maybe in his he's still in his earlier life but he's nowhere near as young as sebastian is uh, a bit of a scruffy five o'clock shadow that seems neatly trimmed appropriately uh as he kind of just like smiles at you with a cocked smile and heads back over to the table. Uh, all right. Yeah, no problem, governor. No problem at all. Some nice people around here. Uh, I didn't mean any trouble. By it. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just we're, we're happy. We're good. We're good. Okay. I mean, the taxes, you know, it is a little much, but we accommodate. We adapt. We're okay. Moose uh, pops out his uh, just this snout mm -hmm. and just says, you don't seem happy. Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, um, I think well, I think Sebastian is right. I think that we can manage on two rooms. I'm used to I... some rough travel and it's better than being outside so we'll we'll take two. Alright. Uh, that'll run you about seven gold and three silver. Three silver. Right. I will take the three silver into mine, and um... Moose uh, just shoots out a hand holding a gold coin. A single gold coin. I'll grab it and put it down, and then I'll add two more to it with mine. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put one in. All right, so we're up to three, four. Moves. Yep, that's four gold as of now. Reina, you need three more. In. All right, that's five. Nobu. You see, he's currently having a conversation with an elf uh, that's yeah, teaching him gone. how to play blackjack. We need a gold. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, Gary has the money. Wait, who, who's one. watching the table, Nobu? Gary. Drake oh. is currently at the table with Gary. Oh. And Drake <laughs> will drop one gold as well. Yeah, I put one in. Alrighty. So you um, hand over exact change, and your first round will be over there, no problem. Thank you, Excellent. Lynn. I appreciate yeah. the hospitality. Of course, of course. Not going to be a problem at all. Stout's okay, right? That's all we have on tap. Oh, that's yeah. fine. All right. Perfect. Oh, amazing. How are you drinking shortness? No, Stout is the name of the beer. Um... It gets a little less foam at the top, and it's a darker tone, so it tastes more, uh... Richer. Yes, that one. Hops his head out so I can see properly. She pours one and scoots it over to you, Moose. <laughs> Dips his muzzle in, just... Nobu, I need you to give me an insight check. 
You can choose to fail if you call for it. Yeah, he fails. <laughs> okay. Um, you're learning how to play blackjack from this elf. Uh, the elf's name is uh, Kelton. Uh, apparently, he's a far traveler. He comes from wondrous landscapes that he would be happy to talk to you about. Um, he's teaching you blackjack, and after a few rounds, you're like, oh, wow, it's just numbers. I can play this. Um, he convinces you to cash in some of your coin to chips to gamble with your chips. And at the end of the night, chips get tallied up and they give you back whatever your chips are worth in coins. So how much gold do you have on you? Yes, yeah, 17, but nobody's better at dice. They're teaching you blackjack. Maybe you'll find a dice table, but you are looking for the most elfiest looking elf. This purse is pretty elfy. Seven gold worth of coins. Is this going on? This was during your guys' interaction. Yeah, yeah. So seven gold, Nobu, is now... I, I would like, offer yeah, I advice if I was able. Yeah, I don't think it would have like actually... Yeah, think... You wanted to talk to an elfy elf. He did want to talk to one, but it wasn't... Well, to talk to him, you have to play cards. You're at his table. I think it would have left. He more wanted to talk to someone about jazz. Oh. <laughs> that That's going to be a little harder to find. <laughs> but anyways, you stand up from the table and he goes, What? You don't want to have a nice little gambling game? A little bit of cards? My mom knew a devil that gambled. They're from hell. <laughs> 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 and the elf just bursts out laughing when you say that that is the funniest thing he's seen heard all day hey lynn hey yeah i love your red hair oh thank you, you know yours is a little that. too red personally like people with red hair were touched by lady sunseer no 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 i wasn't oh no? I know I was. I, 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 my mother was a dwarf. Uh, well, she was half dwarf from the mountains. And my father was uh, from a very pasty place called No Man's. So, What's your mother's name? Lynn. Do I know a Lynn from the mountain dwarves up there? Uh, roll me a history check. We'll call it a grandmother, Lin Lin. We'll call it like 16. Okay. Yeah, no. uh, I mean, Lin's a pretty common name uh, for humans. A half dwarf? Doesn't ring a bell. <sighs> I guess I never met her. Lin. So Nobu is now talking to the band that's currently playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, she's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pull up a chair if you're going to be sitting and talking for a little bit. Uh, I need to keep doing my rounds. And she's running the bar right now, so she's walking back and forth. Do you need any help? Oh, no, I think I got it all fine. Not that okay. I could pay anybody anyways. Oh, no, it's for free. Well, that's preposterous. You don't do any work for free. Why not? Because you deserve compensation. It'll come to you in time. You do good, good comes back. You are a weird... Uh, roll Persuasion, Palando. <laughs> I will use my Let me version. work for free. Yeah, yeah. Currently, Moose is hanging inside his cup, still drinking. You didn't say you do a good job. You get what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> These rolls. Yeah, you're right. Um, No, no thank you. We don't want to have any liability on us either. That costs us even more. Okay, no worries. I'll just grab a bar stool and chit chat when you got the time. Hey, yeah, no problem. As long as you yell across the bar, she'll be fine. Everyone else, you go back to your table. Have a drink. Yeah, I get a drink and go see how Nobu's doing. Alrighty. Uh, Nobu, roll me a charisma check. Charisma? Yeah. No. Not be persuaded. Oh, well. <laughs> Who you think I'm bad at? Oh, that's not, all that's right. not too bad. Um, all right, so that's not high enough for the guitarist to talk to you. Um, it's not high enough for the bassist either, or the singer. You get the drummer. Um, no! <laughs> the roadie. You get a little better than the drummer. You get the uh, flute player. He looks over at you and goes, Hey, how's it going, man? 
Another, another one like, would be the triangle. Yeah. Ethro Joel. <laughs> no, that one's always the drummer. Group. Sorry, drummers. Yeah, I used to play jazz back in the day. Yeah. You a big fan? I, huge fan. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Any chance I could play with a band? Jazz. What do you Good. play? I sing and trumpet. Do you have a trumpet on you? No. I mean, I can ask him. And you notice while he's been talking to you, he hasn't played at all, and none of the other bandmates care. Sounds like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me ask. Let me ask. And he'll lean over to a few of them and, you know, roll me a perception check. Okay. Um,. You hear the flute player go, no, I think I actually have a chance with this guy. He, I mean, he seems really into me. So, like, you know, help me out a little bit, everybody. It shouldn't be a big problem. Come on. Come on. I, I packed up our instruments last time. Come on. And the band finishes the song they're playing, and then the lead singer comes over. Uh, this slightly disheveled looking hair over their face, and they flip it out and goes, so you think you can play with all of us? Hmm? Yeah, I can hang. Oh, you can hang? All right. Well, we're going to test those pipes out on you, buddy. And the music stops. A table is drug over to the center of this stage. And that individual kind of like stands there stepping onto the table and gestures for you to come up here as well. And everyone in the establishment kind of quiets down and looks over at the display. There was ever a time for an inspiration, guys. <laughs> so, the uh, the lead singer. One one second, one second. I think I can do this. I think it's long enough now. Oh God, he's doing. Yeah, I can get in character for this. It's fine. It's fine I can do this. Yeah, that's not that terrible, is it? Yeah. All right, that's pretty bad. He flips his hair out of the way, and so this individual. What's your name, boy? Nobu Mori. Nobu Mo Wait, seriously? You're Nobu Mori? Y yes. Oh, I'm going to talk to you about my tour uh, one second. And <laughs> Nobu Mori wishes to have a sing-off with me. Jawshank. Redemption. As he raises his fist upwards and some of the crowd goes... Yeah, brief. Not a whole lot of enthusiasm. Um, so, what's your preferred style, Nobu Mori? Jazz. Jazz? Ah, old people, of course. <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> well then, I guess you and I are going to have a jazz off, aren't we? Woo, hot jazz in your face. I hate you so much for that one. That's the Spirit Palando <laughs> Sebastian, hype man. Let's go. <laughs> Moose, who is currently in a cup, just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a deck save, Moose. Twenty-three. You just go woo, trying to like do the wave, and then the cup topples over, and you just start rolling with it inside the cup. <laughs> On that twenty, jeez. Yeah, you're controlling it. <laughs> woo! You go back and forth, <laughs> like a mouse in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna roll con save to see how well I can deal with this. So. Music begins emanating outwards, and jazz music, so I don't think I have any jazz music. Oh, man, oh, man, oh. No, that's a little too creepy. No jazz music. It wasn't that bad. Alrighty. Music begins playing from the drummer first, who sets a very good tick, 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 and then just starts playing a very loose spray he has the little tousled instrument as he runs across and tink, 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 
shink, 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 shink. And all the other bandmates begin playing this little tempo as uh, Jaw Shank Redemption begins bellowing outward, singing a very deep, raspy song, a sorrowful tune of how his girlfriend cheated on him, but he knew that she always would, so it didn't actually hurt him. Oh, performance check. The crowd seems to be enjoying it quite a lot. What tune are you going to produce? Nobody's going to... Nobu knows Hurt, and Nobu's gonna go up there and sing about Hurt. I hurt <laughs> myself today. <laughs> How hard it was the first time he left away from his mother. Uh, am I doing horn? No, we don't have a horn. Just straight performance? Yeah, straight performance. You said you can Ooh, sing. No you bro. said you could sing. He can sing. He can sing. <laughs> Everyone thinks that Everyone thinks that your mother is an allegory for someone else. It's it's perfect word like poetry. It's not even that he's singing. He's expressing this innate emotion, the loneliness of leaving home, of leaving your friends, leaving your family behind. It's a very sad, lonely tune playing. And he has people in the crowd starting to get tears as they listen and by the end of your small ballad I light a candle in the middle of it Louis <laughs> is holding a tiny forth. candle <laughs> <laughs> so Still in his cup alrighty since we're going sad here this will be the music one last performance since you actually beat him on his natural 16 uh <laughs> He's going to stand there and begin expressing how he met this girl. She was at a rock show and he fell instantly in love with her. But they're his parents. They weren't allowed to know about the relationship they had. Um, she kept trying to get him into all of these different ways of life. But one day that girl at the rock show, she left. She left him far behind. Very sad song. The expression is there. It's definitely a powerful tune for people to listen to. And many of the people in the crowd go, yeah, man. Yeah, we need more rock shows. Not really getting the message, though. Go ahead, Nobu. What are you singing? Sing a careless whisper. He's never going to dance again. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. So you can roll your performance. But I need oh, you to God. keep something in mind. If you roll below a 15, you're not giving that song justice. And people will remember that. I am once again asking you viewers for an inspiration. <laughs> Please, anyone in the crowd, hype me up. We can't share our inspirations anymore, can we? No, you cannot. Oh, no, you, you cannot. Viewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to tell somebody to donate 500 bits. Uh, <laughs> and I appreciate I that. But I don't think it's happening. Oh, well. Nobu's gonna do this. He's gonna end this man's career with a six. <laughs> Jeez. Your voice begins cracking as you are hitting those notes. I'm never gonna dance again. And you think you're killing it, so you're up there, you're grooving, you're dancing, and everyone in the crowd immediately oh, throwing food, throwing drinks at you. Give me a deck save, Nobu. <laughs> Hold on. I want to use my shield. <laughs> <laughs> no, Boo, as you're expressing yourself, you know, you are in your groove. You're dancing to the song about never dancing again. Moose, what was your dexterity for? I'm throwing the candle. <laughs> A small lit candle. Ow, one point of fire damage. Be careful, he is a wizard. That could kill him. Um... <laughs> And an entire drink gets thrown in your face. You suck! How dare you try disrespecting? You're not one of the greats! I'm sorry, I need to sing jazz. That was my bad. I tried to go out of it. Stay in your lane. The, the crowd boos you off. They boo you off. 
Uh. <laughs> oh, after his last performance, he doesn't get a chance to redeem himself. I feel like there should be one chance to redeem. I beat him on the last one. He best, won that Best one. out of three? <laughs> yeah, best out of three. He won that round. He yeah. looks over at you, still hair covering his entire face. You think that you deserve another chance after that awful display? Let me let me give you faith in something great. Let me give you faith with music back. Roll a persuasion. Oh my god, these rolls tonight. Oh wow, there we go. You hear Lynn over at the bar. Let the poor sap get one more chance. If he really sucks, we got a bunch of old fruit out back. And immediately three of the dwarves who work here run outside, get two large crates of old fruit, and bring them inside. Ooh, yes, please. I'll grab a couple. Yep, everyone in the crowd is being handed two <laughs> dirty old fruits. Who says fruits at the, that's half his size? <laughs> uh, two tomatoes, actually. <laughs> snowman that's my size. It's like yeah. Two grapes. <laughs> Sure, they'll give you two grapes. At this point, they might be raisins. <laughs> Just... So, I need to know. Sebastian, I need a horn. At this point, <laughs> Jawshank is going to give you the first lead on this one. You have the table to yourself? I'm trying to think of it. Jazz songs don't usually have a lot of singing. Uh, yeah, they usually don't. Um, Joe Bonamassa. I was thinking Benny Goodman, but yeah, we can do that. I don't think uh, anybody here knows either of these people, let's be real. <laughs> We'd be lucky if any of them know Benny. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a quick question. Is yeah. a Wonderful World a jazz song? Yes, technically. Ish, it's more bluesy. I see skies blue. Yeah. <laughs> Fred <laughs> Rose is <laughs> too. Fuck it, let's go for it. Wonderful world. <laughs> All right, go for it. Go for it. Just make it look. I'll give you advantage if you actually sing the main verse. I see skies blue, red roses too. <laughs> I forgot the words to the rest of this song. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right, you have advantage. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Making okay. an ass of yourself on the internet earns you advantage. Ooh, there we go. 17. We the crowd, they're appreciative. Wait, and I, would, would Drake have tried to give him a, uh, an inspiration at all? No, oh, God, Drake yeah, is so entertained by you failing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> no, was the only reason he's here right now. Yeah, he would be so entertained by you failing. <laughs> if anything, he might inspire the other guy, but he's not gonna. But anyways, everybody listens to the song and Mary yells over, not Mary, Lynn yells over the crowd. All right, Josh Shank, whoever sucks more this round is getting all the fruit and cleaning it up too. Not a problem. I can handle this. He wobbly stands up on the table. Didn't you want to talk Hero. to him about a tour? <laughs> Hero. Yeah. Can I, from my cup, do the Hannibal Lecter? <laughs> Roll intimidation. We'll find out. <laughs> He feels inspired by you. He thinks you're a true fan, crying over his performance. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Is it a tie? That would be insane. No, no, I'm deciding on what he's gonna sing. So, where? Your tour is in the balance. Kiss on a Grave by Seal. Ooh. That's not his style, man. This guy has a specific style. Black Parade. He, I, I was, was thinking about like it. My chemical romance so yeah. much. 
He looks at the crowd. I'm not okay. He looks at the crowd. You know what? Let's set a little bit better of a mood for this one. <laughs> and he begins expressing. Do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Like somehow you just don't belong and no one understands you. You ever want to run away? You lock yourself in your room, playing your flute oh so loud that no one hears you screaming. And he looks at you dead in your eyes. No, you don't know what it's like when nothing feels all right. You don't know what it's like to be like me. <laughs> Some like K. Oh God. Or is that simple plan? Simple, simple plan. plan. Simple yeah. plan. He has a plus five now. modifier. They hated it. <laughs> the crowd listens to him and all of them go, none of us play the flute. Nobody wants spoken word. <laughs> oh, I want to be the first to wing a tomato right at him. All right, give me, give me a, uh, give me a dex check, dex save. Yeah, we'll say you're the first if you have the highest weapon. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Did you say you're using it as a monk weapon? <laughs> dex save to see if I'm the first. <laughs> There's already several different fruits flying at him and bombarding as he lifts up the symbol to the drum set. Oh, you guys don't know what it's like. You don't know. <laughs> and all of them starts pelting against him. I'm still yeah. going one at him. Yes, Moose. <laughs> I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat. Yeah. And I'm going to dart across the thing, uh, dart across the like the tables, jumping across them. <laughs> yeah, holding a tomato. Yeah, and I'm going to like get up to him and just. <laughs> All right, right. go ahead and roll me an attack. Surprise on him. <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> It slams flat in his face and he just throws the symbol down and runs with his hands in the air and his feet kicking behind him. <laughs> None of you know. You'll never know. And he just runs off. I'm going to start Everyone. the chant. No boo. No boo. No boo. Roll me a charisma check. Oh God. Just straight. Yep. It takes roughly like three minutes of booing before people start catching on chanting no boo. Uh, Rain, were you out in the barn? Okay, you hear the entire bar is chanting no boo right now as this person runs out here with emo hair in front of their face, bawling their eyes out. <laughs> she just like wipes the blood and you're just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's a child of the night too, Rain. Yeah, <laughs> he looks at you and goes, <laughs> It's Guess not fair. Not it's not fair. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and she just like walks past him. She's probably like got another like a good like four inches height on him. So she's easily, just, like, easily. Yeah. She's just like, uh, uh huh. Wait, like, you're one of them, aren't you? What of what? Nobles. No, I just happen to have a spine and she just <laughs> Why does everyone talk to me like that? There's nothing wrong with a man having emotion. <laughs> From, is there a window that looks out into the barn? Uh, unfortunately not. The barn is one of the only private places on the estate, so... <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone that looks at uh, Moose notices that he is, he is dripping in stout. <laughs> He swam in the cup his size. He's drinking his body weight in alcohol. <laughs> At that point, con save moose. Yeah, how do you, th do you think I rolled the con save when I was rolling around? Oh, I forgot. I thought that was not to vomit. What'd you get? 15. Okay, you're pretty you're pretty loosey goosey right now. You're not like fucking gone. Um but yeah, you are pretty loose. He's going to hold up his 
like he's going to pick up his cup and just go yes <laughs> holding it like a great sword <laughs> I, I guess i'm gonna do an encore yeah 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 they definitely encourage you to i'm gonna go Rain. up with oh, sorry no but go ahead oh i was gonna go up to the band to be like you're my band now <laughs> <laughs> the flute Wait. player is down. Um, <laughs> so the rest of the band starts playing their... Well, first off, there has to be an intermission for them to clean up. Of course, you know. And given the fact that the lead singer is now crying in the barn, they have to clean it up. So, you know. Quick intermission with all of you stepping away. I just um, like to imagine Rain just comes back and sees the polar opposite of everyone's personalities. Yeah, yeah. Like, Besides Nobu. Music brought out the best in everyone. <laughs> That's what happened. I I feel like we've touched every to everyone today with this song. Oh, Moose, Moose is swinging a cup around like a madman. <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> missed the battle of the bands is what you missed. Nobu won. So, you all remember uh, that dwarven individual I posted in NPC picks? Mm -hmm. He walks over to you, Nobu. Pulls at your shirt sleeve. Looks up at you. Hey. Hey. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing great. Getting ready to sing My Girl as the next song. That's a good one. Before you get to that, since we have a few minutes, the boss would like to speak to you. Oh, okay, that's great. Can I bring my fish? I can't think of a reason why not. Okay. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> you go over to the table. I'm kind of his bodyguard. I'm going to go along. Guys, they want to talk to me in the back. I think it's a record deal. Maybe. I'll, I'll go along. We'll, we'll see. Alrighty, so the two of you walk over to the same table where that same wide-brimmed individual, wide-hat-brimmed individual is seated, and he looks over at Yoon. So, fancy yourself a bit of a performer, huh? I've always had this talent. I've always wanted to share it with the world. It's a uh, very good talent you have there indeed, I have to say. Consider that very uh, worthwhile. And he starts rolling a coin between his fingers very quickly. So, I have to say you invigorated the rest of the bar. And given the fact of how much they filled up that tip jar, it would only be uh, beneficial to me to make sure that uh, Nobu Morian was properly compensated, wouldn't it? Oh, wow. Uh, I, 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 thank you. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, of course. The way I look at it is we're going to cut you in for 30%. And we're taking that away from uh, old Jaw Shank. That'll be your cut for the evening of work that you just put in. And of course, if there's a need to uh, pick a different profession... I think we could utilize somebody with your talents here. No problem, questions asked. Well, I'm going to be coming back this way, and I should be back in a week. Back in a week, all right. Yeah, Raina, you, you see this happening. And uh, he passes a small sack of coins over to you, Nobu. Uh, you do notice as he lifts it up with his left hand, his right hand never stops rolling that other coin as he hands it over, and it has a little bit of weight to it. Oh. Rain is just going to walk up behind Nobu and cross her arms and just kind of like do the the flex. I'm sorry, this is my cousin. Rain, this is, uh, I actually don't think I've ever caught your name. Hmm. My name's Gamsby. Pleasure Gamsby. to meet you. He reaches his hand out. He stops rolling the coin, which then it just disappears and reaches his hand towards you, Raina. shake it be like uh what's uh what's your business here business well i uh own all the land for about uh 14 acres around here. Hmm. setting up a 
nice little town soon. Gonna be the new wonder of the Terra territory. Right. Uh, and what's your business with Nobu? I figured I would co properly compensate him for earning us a prettier penny than we originally anticipated. Oh. They're a problem. How generous. Not just making sure he's alright. I wouldn't ever be daring enough to uh, oppose a Morian family member. Unprovoked. to know and she like puts a hand on junior's shoulder just like whenever he was like unprovoked and like just the emphasizing like don't <laughs> do anything do <laughs> not provoke when she touches his shoulder ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> seems that you got yourself a little tasseled there to keep track of you yeah? oh it, it's for show I think it looks nice plus it has my name on the inside embroidered you open it up. If found, return to rain. <laughs> that has like an address in Moria. Yeah. <laughs> That's very fascinating. Tell me, what are all y'all doing around these parts? Traveling through. Traveling. Just on our way north to the bridge burners. Bridge burners. Nobu here wants to get a tattoo. We hear they're, they're the place to go. You know what? In this territory, that might be the only place, but uh, we will be setting up our own parlor here. Oh, should I be the first that tries it? I will be honored if you. Oh, okay. But it's not set up yet, so we still have to go to the bridge burner, Snowboo. Is the band ready to do the last one? <laughs> They're still cleaning. It's going to take like 10 minutes. Gamsby seems entertained by all of you here and just seems to be smiling up at you all. You wouldn't happen to have a trumpet or a horn. Can't say that I do. Sorry. Have you met Gary? Just... Drake doesn't have something like that, does he? I mean, I know he said he played a lot of things. He usually plays the viola, but does he have some kind of... I have no idea. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Uh, he has... A viola, and that's it. <laughs> <sighs> no, I have not met Gary. Which of you are Gary? Oh, Gary's my fish. Are you being wise? No, no he's no. completely serious. Puts the fish on the table. It's kind of like... And like, Rain's face <laughs> just like... <laughs> yeah, like, behind Nobu, just like, oh, God. And so, like, yeah, you would absolutely know that he's being serious. A little fish, huh? I'm is this your... Uh, years, is this... That's quite an old fish, I have to say. Yeah. He's kind of sick right now because somebody looks towards Ulfric. Ulric? Put Ulric, yeah. Put ashes in his bowl. I hear that's a bad thing to do to fish. Yeah. Like taking them out of water. But Gary's mischievous. He likes to sneak away. If you're interested in uh, sitting down playing a couple of games, maybe no. sharing a few tales. Do you... I, I play dice. I can play some no. dice. Sorry. Play. Mama Hen seems pretty protective right now. She's always protective. <laughs> My mom's not protective. <laughs> Anyways, Nobu, it was a pleasure having a conversation with you. He reaches Good. his hand towards you, Nobu. I'll take it and say it was great meeting you, Gansby. He has surprisingly a firm handshake. 
you're not used to people shaking your hand with actual pressure. It makes you feel like you're one of the guys. I need you to give me a charisma save, Nobu. <clears throat> Okay. You have a good confidence boost. You're a, uh, you're one of the guys. You're chill. You're uh, you're part of the crew. So not good. Yeah. <laughs> and turns out Bigsby might just be your best friend here. Charm. <laughs> Bigsby Gams or Gamsby? Gamsby, sorry. This is Bigsby? <laughs> Run. <laughs> I recognize those hands. <laughs> Didn't you kill a god? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, take care of yourself, kid. Pat you on the shoulder and goes back to dealing out more cards to the dwarf. Wow, he was really nice. Too nice. I'm going to put my arm around him. It's like, he was nice. And you did a great job. Congratulations. Now get ready. Don't don't get too full of yourself. You still have another... You have an encore to do. I do. Remember, you got to keep Maybe your head in the game. I need Drake to give me a pep talk. He's good at this. Drake's currently leaning onto a table, having a sly conversation with about four different people. Oh, you can have Drake play the fiddle, and you can do The Devil Went Down to Morian. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Everyone down to Moria. Nobody wants to go to so Morian. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the devil. <laughs> Anyways, the night progresses easily. Did any of you want to do anything other than Nobu's finishing performance? Nobu, you did see the gold and coins that you earned. I posted, right? Yeah, I gave it to Sebastian. Cool. Sebastian, go ahead and add that to your character sheet if you want. Yeah. Rain is just trying her best to keep him in trouble. That's a big task. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm half keeping out of trouble and half like encouraging him to get into trouble. <laughs> Polando's trying his best to get in trouble with the bartender. It's a fine line. Or with the the proprietor. Yep, yep. And Moose is screaming on the stage. <laughs> but it's like that high pitched whir. Do do a uh, do a performance check. It turns out that this crowd actually likes death metal as Moose is just <gasps> shouting at the top of his lungs and people in here are like, Mosh pit! and they just start beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> While all this is happening, I, I assume protective circle around Nobu. Everyone else knows how a mosh pit functions, so. <laughs> um, Moose is eventually going to die from lack of oxygen. <laughs> Just on the stage. <laughs> Moose will forever be known in this in this fucking bar as the master of screamo. I think I'll Rain is going to die from an ulcer first. first. Yeah. <laughs> Aneurysm, just... <laughs> I see who Drake is talking to. He's not here. Please don't interact with him. Uh, no, yeah, no, it's... it's more like he's talking to any girl since he's singing My Girl. Uh, sure. Okay. There's gonna... one or two girls among the four people he's talking to. Whoever's the best looking, he's going to directly make eye contact with the entire song. Knowing that Drake's talking to her. That's intense. <laughs> wow, somebody really needs to teach Nobu the bro code. <laughs> <laughs> well, Drake gets it. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's a good wingman. <laughs> go ahead. This is your final performance, Nobu. God. And you didn't go with Final Countdown. Had to be jazz. Oh God. Oh God. My girl. My <laughs> girl. My girl. You start feeling yourself too much with the song, and you get so distracted to actually do it right that you're just grooving because you know you're one of the guys. Now all of the bros of the establishment are screaming and singing with you, but everyone else is really fucking annoyed. Oh. Shit. I really did need that inspiration. <laughs> Probably would have helped a little bit. I do hope somebody picked me up before I got squished. Um, sure. 
Yeah, I said I grabbed you because Palando is he's busy macking on the bartender. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dorena will come downstairs and go. Oh, do you want me to tuck him in upstairs? Dorena, you're uh, you're muted. Please. Yeah, no problem. Help. She'll take the satchel of Moose, bring him upstairs to his own special cot. It's right next to Keys. <laughs> he is soaked. Yep. In fear. <sighs> and as you're sleeping, you hear Keys kind of whistle something, Moose. All night. That's all you hear. This is in a like paralyzed state. <laughs> like not out of fear, just out of exhaustion. Just is this what a sleep, uh, is this what a sleep paralysis demon is like? <laughs> Canning keys is a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> And it's funny because he actually whistles in his sleep. <laughs> actually, he. Oh, sorry. That's the one feature he can't do. I misread that. So he's not whistling it. He's humming it. I apologize. Well, he's making the sound. Yes. All night long. In his sleep. So anyways. Everyone else in the tavern, are you comfortable? Are you happy? Are you trying to do anything other than Mac on the uh, proprietor of the business? <laughs> Drain's just keeping an eye on everyone and making sure everyone gets corralled up to the room whenever they're Alrighty. They're done. Oh. The, the one downside of not sleeping. Yeah, you are the caretaker for all of the drunkards. Throughout drink yeah. all the drinks from all the people who don't drink, but got given drinks. <laughs> oh, that's how you get COVID. <laughs> oh. Well, you no, because Ulrich doesn't drink, but they like gave him a drink, so I I drank that one. Only seven drinks for the eight people. Ulrich was the only one excluded. Well, then Keys, I don't think he drank. There's nine people total. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There's six Either plus way, and then three. You drink the other drink for Moose. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Moose got a free sample that already fucked him up. Yep. <laughs> I thought you meant you were going to all the tables and looking for glasses. And stuff and <laughs> no, no. Glasses. That, that was the impression I got when you are like, that's how you get that. I was yeah. like, no, no. I'm not drinking all the half full drinks. I was like, oh, what's that? Leftover wine? That oh, would be okay. fucking hilarious. Yeah. No, I'm not that bad. Just suiciding <laughs> it all. So throughout the evening, Rain... You are you, Sebastian, or sorry, you, Palando, and Ulrich are the last three people awake. But Ulrich helps Palando upstairs when he's nice and tipsy, uh, leaving you down here to finally have a moment of quiet and respite. The rest of the tavern has quieted down. People have passed out. People have left to go home. Others have already gone up to their rooms to do whatever people do up in their rooms at taverns. And as you're seated there, you look over across the bar where Gamsby is the last person awake down here. His back is still turned to you and his drink is just held up and he's sipping from it. won't necessarily engage but she's keeping an eye on him all right for how long uh probably another hour after everything settles down but she wants to keep up the appearance of being alive so <laughs> after about that point she'll um 
Start making our way upstairs. All right. As you finally stand from your table, begin heading over, the head slightly tilts, where you can see just a bit of the side profile in your direction. Mother Hen, would you be able to uh, have a conversation real quick? A short one, sure. And she'll sit across the table from him, like, just completely unintimidated, just like, mm hmm sure, like. <laughs> he keeps rolling the coin between his fingers, looks up at you from underneath his hat. You, uh, you're quite protective of that boy, aren't you? His whole family is. You know, I understand being protective of family quite a bit. You only get one, right? Exactly. That's why I like to keep my family close. Care for them. In fact, this whole town is kind of like my family. Just want to make something a little clear. I've already been given the invitation from Mida. And as enticing as that might sound to uh, many people, Rodan's lapdog ain't appropriate here. You think I'm Rodan's lapdog? <laughs> I know you are. Then you don't know what's going on in Mida. Oh, I know quite a bit about this one. He tells you to handle a job, you do it. He gives you a soft-spoken suggestion, you do it. What is that wage they're giving you to be a part of their uh, town, anyways? I've been curious about it. That, uh, allowance you get. Raina, only council members know about the allowance. And he's not a council member. Roll history. I'm going to use my game inspiration. You don't remember him ever being a council member. It is an elected position for most people. Rodan is the only static about it. In fact, he's the only person who stayed consistent during your entire life on the council. Every two to three years, there's new people filling the different roles of agriculture, treasury, all of them. You look this man in the face and... It doesn't look like anyone you've ever met. Well, if you knew anything about me, you knew that I don't play these kind of games. And she'll go to get up. I ain't talking about any games. I'm talking about opportunity. What is your allowance anyway? It's the exact number. I'm curious to see if I can't double it with ease. Why would you want to double it? He might treat you like a lap dog. But I think the wolf would be better suited as an attack dog. Hmm. Then you really don't understand me at all. So be it. And, by the way... Yeah. If you're, uh, gonna try to... offer opportunities to somebody, don't try to weasel your way in with their family and control them first. I know what that all was about. 
despite what you might think some of us actually like fair business dealings. No, that must not be a common occurrence for someone of your status. Trying to... Trying to pull him into a game uh, that he doesn't understand. I don't call that fair. Matter of perspective. Regardless, this is your last evening here in my acres. You're all welcome, of course, for tonight. But the way I look at it is... There ain't no need to have you here a second time. Have a good night. Do you head upstairs? Stepping slowly up them and watching him out of your peripherals as you lean up against the staircase, he simply remains seated, sipping from his ale as he's done all night long. Sorry, I went away for a quick bit. Came back halfway through the conversation. Is it morning or still night? It's still night, but it's rain. So what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I think on that note, you heading up town or upstairs to nestle into your room wide awake for the remaining six or so hours of your consciousness. I imagine you're sharing a room with Dorena... Moose, Palando, and Keys. Listening to Keys just hum that creepy fucking song every night. He doesn't even try. He just does it. I think this is where we're going to end tonight's session, everybody. Players, thank you very much for playing. Viewers, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. And we will be back again next week. Don't forget to drop that like, follow, subscription. Give us a comment on the video if you're watching this. And we'll see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>